sorry. It's a bit loud. Oh, <laughs> As a reminder. Finally. Sorry, I was having some issues. Oh, no, I shouldn't have echo anymore. Oh, I think even that's... No. Given the document, Bart, I think we should probably wait for him. But on the other hand, I do want to start on time. I can try and put... Ah, he says he will be up to 15 minutes late. OK, so let's uh, just start, I guess. And we can come to his concern when he joins us. As a reminder, please, everyone, write yourselves in. Uh, into the attendance document. Okay, um, is there anything which people would like to do before as a quick and time box thing else? We will just dive right into the uh, continuation of the due diligence. The agenda that I've added also is strongly related with Bartek since he's one of the maintainers of GRPC. Um, the RPC Prometheus, uh, so yeah. Yeah, okay, but then it doesn't make sense. Um, then I guess we can just get started on the DD document. Cool. Should I so, share it and we can kind of review it again? Perfect, I was about to ask you. Yep. Go. Hopefully folks can see it. Uh, so I left all the comments so we can all review them live, uh, but tried to comment to everything. Uh, so hopefully there are updates to, to any outstanding items. I know many of you reviewed it over the last two weeks. So thank you for taking the time to, to add some amount of assessment. Uh, so we can continue kind of going section by section, seeing if the updates are kind of covered or if more uh, additional information is required. Uh, so I'll skip the sections that are green because I'm assuming that we are happy with that section. We can always revisit if someone has uh, concerns, please raise them. So back to number three, uh, does the project have production quality, high demand, high velocity, um, quality type stuff. There was a link to the adopters page and there was an ask to actually update this with what has been adopted. I've gone ahead and done that for most of the companies. There are a few that I haven't been able to get a hold of yet to actually add in the relevant components, but at least the initial components are all listed here that was updated per request. Um, yeah, I guess any questions on that one? I can add several in there, which I will do, was not aware of it. Perfect. Uh, no comment here. That is you, Jenna, right? Uh, yeah, you you want end you like anyone using it. It can be like end user, vendor, or whatever. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Cool. All of the above. Yep. Okay. Um, the one thing which I'm pretty certain. So I, I'm just. I think we also talked about which components, uh, uh, you call them components. Um, so is this then valid for metrics, logs, and traces for all th uh, for all of them? Or is the, or do I assume correctly that those are uh, the traces part? I'm not going into that battle on, on the document, uh, just asking for the overview. So are all of those then tracing or do others also use metrics and or logs? Yeah, so I guess this this begs a pretty interesting question. Uh, so OpenSymmetry has multiple different components. Each of those are known as their own SIG within the project, but then there are data sources. 
Uh, I actually recently put in a whole bunch of uh, documentation updates to kind of cover this. So you can see the different uh, components that make up the project with instrumentation, libraries, of course, being language specific, uh, the specification, proto, everything's kind of built on top of. Uh, but data sources kind of represents another nuanced thing here in that traces, metrics, and logs are in scope for open telemetry. And each of these different components may support some amount of any one of these data sources. So I did not explicitly list the data sources in this table. Uh, to answer your question directly, Richie, from a client library perspective, all of these are tracing specific, but in the case of the collector, it is likely both traces and metrics, because uh, many people pass metrics through the collector today. Okay, um, okay, thank you. I, I wasn't aware of that naming difference and that you have those two orthogonal, uh, or yet another dimension that's, probably the more correct framing, uh, phrasing. Um, so personally, I would like to see those in as well, ideally split by, by the type of component, if it's sending or receiving. Um, but I think for the purpose of here, as long uh, as you just edit, we can just close it as, oh no, we need to, we, yeah. <laughs> if you just say you do it, I'll trust you. <laughs> yeah. I'll get it done. I mean, I'll put a note right here to get it added. So you want to see data sources, basically? Uh, yeah, it's fine it's way to add. Dimension. And I think from what I just saw, there are components which send and which receive. Let me just get back into Yeah, That's you right. have. So the collector can both receive and, of course, send, because it's a collector, mm -hmm. where instrumentation things are just sending to a destination. Um, yeah. yeah. So. It, it shouldn't just be me talking. So what do others think? Does it make sense to split it up by data source? And if yes, does it make sense to do the second dimension of which direction components speak or are we over engineering this? So I think in terms of showing this to other people, it makes a lot of sense, right? Like as a potential user, it's nice to see. Um, we may struggle a bit to get users to actually bother to insert their names here and, and provide that level of detail. Um, but you know, as an end user, it's always nice to see that stuff. Yeah, we also try to call this out per language. So like Java traces are in beta. Actually, it's RC now. This needs to be updated. Metrics are alpha. Logs are experimental. So you can see it per data source within each of these SIGs as well. We don't explicitly call that on the adopters page, but each of these repositories lists the state of the different data sources. OK. Just for reference, like there's there's a good number of adopters who aren't necessarily here because there's companies who adopt this who do not really participate in the community. They just use it because sure. their vendor tells them to use it or they decided to use it on their own. Yeah, yeah I know that problem. <laughs> I'm gonna... I, 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 so just to be clear, uh, also from from the initial ask from from the TOC, which is put into that uh, into that checklist, I don't think we need an exhaustive list. Uh, like, absolutely not. It would be unfair to ask this of any project. Uh, it's much more about just showing that there is adoption and that's it. Um, as there are so many orthogonal aspects of, of what observability means, which are handled within open telemetry, it makes sense to make that more visible because it's just so huge. Um, but that's actually a plus for you in my book. Like, one of, uh, one of the suggestions uh, on Bartek's document was to maybe uh, send to incubation just traces or like in parts. So if you have adopters for different, like, adopters for tracing, adopts for adopters for metrics and for logging, maybe it's clearer if this is the, the choice for incubation. Yeah, and I think that's kind of an interesting topic. So, I mean, I might be mistaken. I don't want to speak on behalf of CNCF, but the project is open telemetry. It can be made up of various different components, and those components can be in different statuses, but the project is up for incubation, not the tracing part. And I, I kind of look at this similar to Kubernetes, which is another very large project within CNCF. There are plenty of things in Kubernetes that are in alpha, but the Kubernetes project is graduated. So I don't think it really matters that just the tracing data source is more GA ready than the other data sources. And I wouldn't want to subdivide by the just the data source because it's the project as a whole that's going for incubation, not the traces part of it. 
Also, I think one thing I want to add to is that, you know, like, I think we're holding on too much to the terms alpha and beta of being like indicators of quality versus that was actually like us as a project just more like trying to be very rigorous about like hey what is stable versus not like alpha and beta does unfortunately have negative implications that people will be less like you know excited to adopt things because they think things aren't stable but i think our adopters list actually shows that that isn't an issue with us as a whole project and yeah and to like steve's point right like large projects there's always gonna be some sections of it that just aren't stable, right? You can even make that argument with like Envoy, like Envoy has a core set of filters that are fully supported. And then they have things there that are always gonna be experimental um, or other things like that. So yeah, it's for the whole project as a whole, not subsections of it. So from my perspective, honestly, I think it goes beyond the scope of, of what a SIG can, can decide and it just needs to be a call by the TOC. I know that there was quite a bit of back and forth by the TOC on K3S as a sub project or not and, and asking SIG uh, governance, I think was it, uh, about, about looking at sub projects. I, with my chair head on, I deliberately do not hold a strong opinion here for the very simple reason that I can see very good arguments in both directions. Um, but I don't think it's it's fair of 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 a mere um, seek to to simply say yes or no uh, to to actually interpreting policy this heavily. Um, again, I can see very good arguments in both directions. I I, I agree with Steve's point. Uh, on it being on constances, I think, on this being uh, better to move as a project because it just shows the overall velocity of the project. Uh, I can I can also see Bartek's point about uh, this being uh, potentially confusing when when it's this difference in 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 readiness or in in, in actually being used, but. Again, I don't think we within the SIG should make a hard decision either way, unless someone strongly disagrees or even slightly disagrees. I think this is probably something which, which we just report as such to the TOC and they make the call. This is clearly what, what our task is, is to make a recommendation to the TOC, right? It's not for us to yes. decide, it's a recommendation. And if people st feel strongly, then we can point out, yeah, there, you know, there are uh, concerns around that or whatever, which is part uh, part of our due diligence uh, review. Um, and, and and again, uh, think of of in, in case of Kubernetes, no one ever said Kubernetes can't graduate because you know CSI is not there yet. And and if it's in the case for Kubernetes, which is you know arguably a little bit wider than than Open Telemetry, uh, then I think the same applies for Open Telemetry. It is the project that may or may not have certain parts that are uh, on a certain level. As long as you're explicit about that, clearly saying, look, um, traces, GA, whatever you want to call it, production ready, whatever you want to call it, uh, logging, this is experimental. This is something you might want to try out, but it's not something that we consider yet ready for production or GA, right? Very clear with the expectation. Cool, so where does that leave us for number three? Uh, Richie, how do you want to proceed on that? So I think, Yeah, again, for the adopters, just uh, just put the data source uh, as, mm -hmm. as a thing. And I think you already, did you? Yeah, you did. So um, as this is consensus-based, let's try with a consensus. Um, what about SIG observability needs guidance from TOC or needs TOC to decide uh, on project versus sub-project, but that's the wrong framing. Steve, do you have better wording? Uh, CNC, TOC, bias on. Um, just an explicit note here. No, no, I, I would actually make this as a call for consensus. So we as a SIG can have consensus on asking TOC. Because that allows me to just close the point and move on. Got it. 
So do you want me to say what? SIG observability? Uh, oh, just give me, no, ju give me just a second. Uh, requests, I'm just going to put this in front of yours. Uh, requests. Fun fact, I cannot type when I know people are watching me. Hang on, hang on. Uh, why would we request advice? Advice for what? We we can so, we can point out something, but we otherwise it's like they ask us, you know, can you do the due diligence? We say, oh yeah, sure, but you know, give us advice, and then what then? Does that mean another round? We meet again and talk about that. I I would not say request advice. What, what for? So there, not trying to to keep it in. Just first to reply to your question. Um, SIG observability is special in as much as TOC told us we uh, should be doing or we could be doing more due diligence than other SIGs because the others are not as clearly scoped. And so we basically offered to do more and they said yes. Um, so that is why we do more on the due diligence than other SIGs. That in turn means that this could be interpreted as us taking back this uh, advice and then incorporating it. I don't have any problem deleting it. So unless anyone feels strongly, I will just delete it. I would prefer to delete it because otherwise, like this is a process thing where it's kind of unclear what, what, when will we get that advice? When, when do we meet? Like this might delay everything for months. No, uh, like this. The second we have consensus here, or much uh, more to the point, uh, right after this meeting, I would be poking TOC about this so they know about it as soon as possible, and then can act on it. Um, this shouldn't be delayed. But again, unless someone feels strongly, we just have as a call for consensus, and let's just do this. SIG observability requests a decision from CNCF TOC on project versus subproject. Comments, anyone against, all agreed? Perfect. Good. So, all right, next one, uh, we're moving around to four. Yep. Uh, is yep. the project committed to achieving uh, CNCF principles? They have a committed roadmap and address any concerns. So add a link to roadmap information. So I've added several kind of roadmaps here. Uh, as well as like a project board that kind of articulates this as well. Again, remember that open symmetry is comprised of many different components. So roadmaps are typically done by those various components. From a high level project perspective, most of the roadmap is around getting the different data sources to GA. So uh, last week, actually, there was an announcement already for the tracing specification reaching 1.0. Uh, in addition, there were uh, four languages that either have a GA release or an RC release that will become GA. Uh, so the milestone right now is basically in the first half of this year, ensuring that we get uh, the tracing side to GA across the, the different SIGs. Uh, and in parallel, metrics work is actively underway. So the goal would be to offer a GA, hopefully, of the tracing specification by mid-year uh, and get the client libraries in sometime in the second half of the year. Of course, that is uh, working with the Prometheus Open Metrics teams to ensure that we address the current outstanding issues. There's a working group for that to figure out those details. Logging is then planned for next year. Arguably, it's already started, but from a GA perspective, that won't be until uh, 2022 at this point. Right. So um, this this topic is like very fuzzy again because what does it mean? What does it mean addressing concern? Right. Um, at what point the concern is addressed? So this brings essentially. Uh, I mean, we can simplify this by, you know, the, the points raised by the community and concerns raised by the community. I don't know, this is what I gather from and shared on the Friday. So are we, can we assume that my doc is kind of those concerns that we, I don't know, we can talk about addressing? Does it make sense? Or we can, I don't know, it's just proposition. We can, yeah, do whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, the way I would frame this is open symmetry is completely open source and anyone can come contribute. So like the document you put together is great. Uh, I think you've already seen multiple people from the open symmetry yeah, community exactly. and outside comment on it. 
Uh, and then we should figure out like how to get this incorporated into the roadmaps. But how everything is tracked today is like any other GitHub project. We have issues, uh, we have uh, release milestones, we have project boards, uh, and now we have uh, GitHub discussions. We're actually getting off of Gitter, which is super exciting. Uh, so I'd say that make sure anything that you need or want captured is captured in issues or discussions, uh, and then they absolutely will be addressed. Uh, the same applies to the SIGs and the working groups. So take Prometheus and Openmetrics, for example. The whole point of the working group is to solve the current uh, issues between the compatibility between OTLP and uh, the Openmetrics wire format. Right, so you, I definitely agree everything is tracked and everything looks like is controlled and kind of be on the way to solution in a year, two or 10. Are we happy with that timeline? And uh, because there are so many things that are tracked, but there is no clear even you know, uh, perception that this will be ever agreed on. But section four talks about the committed roadmap and being able to address issues in the community. I believe both of those are being demonstrated. It doesn't say when. Yeah, that's a very fair point. Also, when isn't necessarily like, I think this is kind of common for all projects, like open source projects. When is always the like nebulous, like, will it ever happen? Because we all are relying on, you know, like people working from different companies to contribute. Right. I think the most important thing here to notice is that like we are tracking this information and that, you know, also uh, like that one's a good thing to notice, but also all the things that we've committed to in the past, we are still delivering on them. So it does show the like our ability to execute on things we do commit to. And I think that's very common across all like all CNCF projects. Yeah, I guess I, I would ask anyone on the call, really, um, does anyone have examples or concerns that like open symmetry is not taking this feedback, not incorporating it into into like a working group or a roadmap or some sort of item? Because if that's the case, then I would argue number four is not being met. Uh, I'd be curious if that is happening and I'd actually be very concerned if it's happening. Uh, so getting that feedback, I think would be extremely valuable. I have two examples, but may, I can I can let speak others too as well. Okay, no one's speaking, so I will bring it up. First one, logging API, right? I I mean, <laughs> and also I'm like a, you know, observer of all of these things. So I, I, I already work multiple, multiple times wrong. So what I'm seeing, but what I'm seeing right now is that the logging is some important um, goal and scope of this open telemetry project, but plenty of people, especially from the, at least what I spoke from the FluentD community were, like actively rejected to in, in terms of contribution or starting even discussing about the logging you know, specification because project was not ready. And this is to me something that is tracked, but well, not delivering and not plan to deliver. Well, I don't know, not seeing any progress. So, so a couple things, like we were talking about how we stick to our roadmap, like tracing and then metrics has always been the roadmap. Logging came up because a few members wanted it. And, and you're right, there's some work has happened on it. It's still experimental. And, and I've been involved in that and Tigran and, and Jonah and others have been. Um, but that's us sticking to the roadmap by not, uh, not making logging front and center and not wanting to push out the things that we've already committed to. Uh, secondly, I'm not aware of people who've been rejected for making contributions. Like I've attended almost all the logging meetings. I find that surprising that people were saying that their contributions were rejected. Sometimes people had reached out and said, hey, is this ready for prime time? And we said, no, absolutely not. Um, you know, tracing is still our number one priority. Metrics is the number two priority and will become the number one priority after tracing is done. Um, but at no point have I ever seen anyone be discouraged from participating other than just warning them, hey, you know, only maybe 10% of the community is actually focused on this right now. Yeah, so I think for logging specifically, there's a SIG dedicated to this with, with meetings. I was just, just pulling up the meeting notes real quick. I mean, there's representatives from Elastic, FluentBit, Google, Walmart, AWS, Sumo, Splunk. So I think that people are definitely getting together and things are being discussed. If there's a fear that like something's not being accepted or like advice is not being taken, then we should clearly go address that. Uh, but like this would be the forum to kind of raise those concerns uh, and definitely anyone is welcome to attend. We have regular meetings. It's on the community page from a SIG perspective, kind of listing everything about logs. Bartik, coming back to your statement, and, and I, I was also very surprised when I read that in, in your uh, assessment there, where you said that soft rejection, I, and, and people also asked for, you know, can you back that up? Like who said that? When, where can you 
backed it up with something that is, you know, somewhat publicly visible. Sure. I mean, I don't want to put people on spot, right? So I... No, but, I, but if you say, you know, it has been softly rejected. And, I mean, I literally... The, the softly, literally and like someone need to have said, I want X and someone else would have said, you know, no, right? That's yeah. what rejection I, I think uh, the rejection might be, you know, too brutal world. And I agree. Sorry for, I'm not like, you know, native speaker. But what I rather meant is that the, the thing I heard a couple of times is that uh, open telemetry said that you know let we we don't want to focus on logging right now we want to focus on metric and tracing uh so yeah we are not talking about that right now this but is that's not a bad thing right like that's like that every project does that right and I mean, it feels like csi and kubernetes right like there are certain aspects of kubernetes that weren't addressed until later either i think that's actually a sign of a healthy environment Right, it's acknowledging what your bandwidth is. It's prioritization. It's what we do. I record. Everyone does let, a recorder, right? Let me let me understand. Is it about that the scope of open telemetry is not clear enough for you in terms of is is like is the community behind it open to to get logging in there or not, or is it that actually someone tried to get logging in there and the open telemetry community said, no, we don't want logging in there. I, which one? So uh, mind, if, mind if I just chime in? Cause I have, a, there's a general feeling that metrics and logging are reinventing things that have already been invented and are well established and, and created in the ecosystem. Obviously tracing was the big rock, right? And that's the focus. And we're finally getting to the point where, you know, we can now have people use it in production. That's awesome. Metrics is next, but we have a vibrant and, and strong community in metrics around Prometheus and open metrics. That's part of CNCF. That's one discussion point. And then secondarily, logging standards are really, really difficult. And there are some you know, well-established open source standards for this, like ECS, which is an Apache open source uh, framework for logging that instead of like embracing and extending things that already exist, we seem to want to reinvent the wheel when it's already invented and it's functional. And so I think that's the frustration that Bartik is talking about. I feel the same way. I stopped going to the logging meetings because it's just way over-engineered. I mean, like the spec for logging is the most over-engineered specification I've seen for logging that's ever been done by anyone. Uh, I don't think it's going to be implemented effectively. Uh, and it just seems impractical to me. So there's a few points there. So one, it sounds like your point is that you're disagreeing with the actual intent of the project. Right, which wasn't the so maybe it should that be a follow-up question that we actually go into well we have open metrics in cncf so why are we creating another metric standard I can when one that. already exists that's used heavily in you know production systems yeah. today so uh, there's a few points to that um Wait, I, mean, I would like to finish that for, um, so there's a few points. One, from, so I will give the perspective, yes, I'm on the GC for open telemetry, but I'm going to give the perspective as a KubeCon co-chair from in terms of interactions from the community, right? Like, open metrics barely got any attention over the past few years, right? Like, and so in terms of velocity, in terms of people talking about it, right, there are like, you know, you can make the argument that uh, open metrics wasn't quite as visible compared to say open telemetry over the past few years. Uh, one other thing too is that CNCF, right? Like CNCF has competing projects. Linkerd and Envoy are great examples, right? And the thing is, is that it's not meant to say this is the only way to do it. CNCF is trying to host a set of projects that give people different tools to do whatever they want in a way that they want to do it. So people might want to use open metrics over, over, over open telemetry. That is great. Also, one thing too is that like open telemetry isn't necessarily only about forcing people to use open telemetry. Like, if you look at a lot of the implementations, like if you look at the languages and also the collector, it also gives people a lot of tools so they could say like, hey, if you wanna use open census metrics and open telemetry metrics, you can use both. So it's not about only forcing, it gives people a way, flexibility to use what's best for them. 
Um, Bogdan, I think you were trying to say something. No, you cover everything. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the one thing I'd add is just like, there isn't one standard in the market today. So that's part of the problem that open symmetry is trying to solve for. Like, I don't know, use anything. Jaeger and Zipkin, two competing projects, both do tracing. Uh, B3 header propagation versus W3 trace contexts, both exist in the wild. Uh, so open symmetry needs to provide a mechanism so that people have a path forward for that. The same applies for metrics. Like open metrics is not the only metrics thing out there. Yeah, it might be the cloud native one, but people are not all fully on that today. And so they might even be in a hybrid world where they need to support like two standards at the same time. How do you do that? Uh, the answer is often like you have to deploy two different stacks and find a way to go integrate them. Like open symmetry is trying to make that easier. Um, so, I mean, the, the final so, comment I'd add is just from a CNCF perspective, like one of the principles is no king making. It doesn't matter that there's two things in open telemetry that does similar things that that's allowed according to, to its charter. Yeah, I just find that we're creating a lot of like additional complexity without a lot of benefit. There's no clear explanation why we have a new uh, metric standard in open telemetry versus using something that's used by hundreds of thousands of companies in production today, why do we need a new metric standard? I understand why we need one for tracing, uh, logging. I don't know that we need another standard. Uh, it's not clear what's missing, what needs to be changed, enhanced. Uh, that's my concern with this. And, and Constance, getting back to your other comment, these are not like, projects where someone can go and implement it. Like open metrics is basically a, a, a standard, a specification. So uh, this isn't something that a user can just go and implement. They obviously need to adopt a technology that implements open telemetry or implements uh, you know, open metrics, for example. Um, but it's fine. Obviously, people don't want to discuss this. I think it's a big issue, and it uh, overshadows the whole project at this point beyond tracing. So, I, yeah, I, I think it's time to move on. I don't know if this is especially relevant for this forum. Like, Jonah, if you want to bring up those concerns in the open telemetry community, I think that's that's appropriate. Um, but right now, yeah, we're, there's we're... like four of us on that call, Morgan. <laughs> on, but on that's which cool. Call? Which call? On the community call for Otel. The maintainers meeting or which? Oh, maintainers. No, I'm not on that one, but I can bring it up there. That's okay. Fine. Like, yep. anyway, let, let's move on. Cool. Yeah, so I, I guess. Keep... Yeah. Go Why we're moving on if this actually kind of might, you know, uh, might have some input on the incubation graduation kind of moving. Mm, I guess, uh, how, how do you think that's the case? Like there is a roadmap logs are not planned right now. So I'm not sure how that impacts incubation. I mean, I and if there are they issues, there are forums to actually discuss them and like any issues raised or like there's a SIG meeting, there's a working group, there's, I mean, there are forums to address that feedback, getting consensus from everyone in, on the planet, right? Like, I mean, I don't think that's a goal, but like taking that feedback and trying to incorporate it and ensure that like everyone has a say and decisions are kind of being made on that, I think does exist, which is what number four is asking for. Wow. Well, okay. Yeah. That's that's there are there are like major concerns that you are I mean looks like you want to move on to hide them some way. This is what I see. Is that is that the right observation? Mm, I don't I don't think there's anything hiding. It's all, all happening in open source forums today. Like if there are concerns oh. about logging, there's a logging sig to discuss that. And logging is not GA, so it's not like that feedback's not being taken. If we were having a conversation about logs GAing and there's big concerns about introducing another standard, I think that would change the conversation here quite a bit. No, no, but so, there are people who wants to bring, you know, some concerns and uh, you are pushing to to move the recommendation forward. So I don't think that that's a good direction. I think actually it's more just focusing on the actual question number four and then bringing this back up later. That's more just focusing on that part. Um, totally. So I want to bring that there are concerns and I don't think they are addressed. So what would it take to address the concerns to get consensus on number four? Is there something actionable? Because so I mean, we can, we can disagree for forever, but like if there isn't something tangible, I'm not sure how we get out of this deadlock. Yeah, one, one suggestion which I've been 
trying or wanting to make um, is a set of, of specific statements which can be added as part of the reply to number four to to make your concerns visible and ideally address them. But so for example, uh, by making explicit that as of right now, uh, logging was next year uh, and is not a priority. Just making this super explicit and writing this down, um, putting not a timeline down to the second to, uh, to the metrics effort, um, but at least having a, a timeline on this, would this be an approach which, which you think is where you could have consensus, or do you think that in the end you would just want to note uh, dissent on the consent, uh, consensus, or what's what do you think? No, I'm open for propositions, uh, but you know, I feel like we are putting this no kings making rule, uh, you know, forward as a, as a as a rule that is that's happening. Sure, I agree. The same happened with Cortex and Thanos. Both are competing, right? But both were accepted to incubation. But this is much different situation where we have an open telemetry with well defined solid tracing and not defined logging and barely defined metrics. In my opinion, sorry for being brutal, but and somehow we know they are overlapping with existing well adopted, well defined solutions. And yes, we can just ignore this fact, but this is a problem that we are just actively recommend uh, <sighs> competing solutions in our own family of CNC, com CNC, CNC community. That's, that's no different than Cortex and Thanos, right? Like no, that, that's... Let's, sorry, but I'm, 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 I'm pulling on the head a little bit. So um, maybe to, to address the open metrics thing, of course there's back and forth and I'm uniquely positioned uh, to, to speak about <laughs> that one and about uh, how, how the due diligence is supposed to work. Um, with my open metrics and Prometheus heads on, obviously I would prefer if other projects adapted that standard flat out period, that's obvious. That being said, Steve is absolutely right when he says there is a no king making rule, and that is absolutely what should happen because else you're unduly blocking uh, progress. The one thing which, which I've seen raised in the past and something which is one of my main concerns is confusion around the actual level of support of open telemetry for Prometheus slash open metrics. Of course, most people just assume it's fully there and it's just not, which is fine. It's absolutely fine to, to not be there or to be there after X amount of time, as long as the messaging is clear. So I would much rather try and focus on putting a timeline in on, we will take X amount of time to achieve compatibility. And yes, with my Prometheus and ops, uh, open metrics head on, I know that we need to define even more on what compatibility actually means, like on top of the test suite and everything which we have, there's plenty of reference code, which Datadog used and such, yet it's clearly not enough. So we need to deliver more. Sick head on again, and this is, I'm being very deliberate in those different trains of thought. Sick head on, uh, I would much rather see a, a, a specific way forward with a rough timeline where you just say where open telemetry as the project, which is complicated because I'm now also an open telemetry member, um, where open telemetry states X amount of time until progress X. And obviously that X amount of time is not down to the second, but it is a down to the month or what something. Is this a way forward? I see Bogdan agree. I see Arthur not. Yes. Steve. So yeah, that seems yeah, Bartek. It's, it's fine. Messaging uh, is fine. I just want to have okay. this communication. So Steve, to make it explicit, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth just to try and move this on. A bit. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Write it down and we can talk about it. You actually have uh, 1.0 uh, of open telemetry and you have GA of tracing as of one or two days ago, correct? Yeah, the tracing specification is 1.0. Uh, .NET also went 1.0. Java, Python, and something else is RC and will be GA here soon. And of 
correct? Uh, I'll, I'll update it because it's not one hundred percent. I want to make sure I'm explicit because, like Java's yeah, RC two, yeah, it'll yeah, be GA I, soon. But yeah, uh, but basically the tracing yeah, specification. <laughs> yeah. Um, As needed, but just as a rough thing of what I hope is a basis for consensus. Yeah, so for those on the call, especially the open telemetry folks, please validate and speak up on language here. The dates right now or rough estimates here? I think down to maybe the quarter would make sense, uh, but as Bartek is driving uh, the argument. Yeah, okay. So I think it's much better. Thank you for that. I don't want to like block anything, right? But by just saying, hey, we will fix something, it's not immediately to me true that, for example, open metrics incompatibility with with metrics API or and spec will be actually, you know, uh, resolved because we have clear, clear points that were listed up, which are, I mean, there's no even clear idea how to solve them. And, and even some, some of them are trivial, like this label uh, GE or LE on the histograms, uh, push versus pull and kind of how to integrate all of this. Um, and by just saying, hey, we will, yeah, we will be compatible. Yes, everything will be fine. This is, this is great. But if I, as a SIG tech, tech lead, I'm up to recommend something and, or, or recommend anyone in Red Hat to use open telemetry. If, and I, I don't see, because I, I know the technical details of it, that the agreement is not possible easily. And there is also some kind of, you know, um, other concerns, whatever discussions how can I recommend, how, how do I see this as a result if we are just um, saying that this is, will be done, but there is no clear to me path towards that. And I agree, it's very fuzzy, but I see this not I, being I possible. See, I see your point. I see your point, Bartik, but I mean, this is not the end of the road, right? This is the graduation to incubation. If uh, I mean, clearly, you cannot ask for the couple of folks that are here representing Hotel to speak for all its vendors, including ourselves. We are also there, right? Um, but, you know, at some point in time, Hotel wants to graduate, right? Wants to be a, you know, like Kubernetes and Prometheus and others, wants to be that kind of project. And obviously, people, including ourselves, will be held accountable if we say, well, you know, this is what we committed to or agreed upon in the context of gradation to incubation, and we haven't done that, right? But to, to me, this is not the end of the road. This is clearly one stepping stone towards that. So I'm perfectly happy with having, having that explicitly in there, but also being mindful and, and aware this will be reviewed and obviously people including ourselves would be held accountable regarding that cool can we can, yeah i think i don't know i i kind of you know think about this process as some step towards graduation so if i see kind of this some concern already i just pointed i want to point it out definitely like this can be 
uh, you know, kind of fine for incubation, but the goal is really ultimate goal is like full adoption and, and graduation. So can we point this down to, to the, to the doc maybe that, you know, there are strong incompatibilities that are, um, are kind of the goal for even talking about graduation uh, until we don't, until we do that, we can graduate. So I, 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 why are we talking about graduation though, right? Like the goal is incubation and like, can these concerns be addressed or are, is it a flat out no? Like there's a roadmap and that roadmap could be years, but there's a roadmap. And so I think you're right that if we were in incubation talking about graduation, then it's a whole new conversation. But we're not. We're talking about moving from sandbox to incubation. I think this is a known issue. I think there's a working group to address it. I think there, there's strong consensus on both sides to try to get this fixed. So it feels like there is a concern raised, but there's also kind of a commitment here to do something about it. Right. And, and that's exactly what I, what I, I mean, I tried to address Bartex, uh, if I understand correctly, worry that, oh yeah, you know, we put that down here and then nothing ever happens. And I'm saying, well, it, this is not, this is quote unquote, just incubation. This is not yet graduation. So obviously there will be another due diligence held, you know, towards graduation. And, you know, clearly that will come up again, right? So to me, this is an argument, um, let's move on. Let's, you know, we clearly pointed that out here. Uh, this is in my understanding, clearly addressing that. We do not need to further discuss that. Also, there's a yearly re project reviews that happen by the TOC. And so they're going to like, right, because we do have to say like, what are our goals? Like, why didn't we achieve our goals and stuff like that there? So there's also like that accountability happening good, good year point, over year. Point. It, you're right, because it's not, it's not just back, you know, yeah. at, at some point in time, it's actually on, on a review. On a year, year, yeah, year. so then we do have like, there's actually quite a few plate of like processes in place to make sure they're being held accountable for our projects and we have like, you know, ways to talk about it. So that could help. So I guess yeah. in the one question to, the... go ahead, Richie. No, no, so in the interest of time, from my perspective, there are currently two questions to be asked before uh, I can make a call for consensus. The first is, uh, is full Prometheus and Openmetrics countability a part of 1.0 and GA, yes or no? And that's, I don't have, I explicitly don't have an opinion. It just should be noted. And then based on everything which was added, if we can achieve consensus or if anyone wants to be on the record and not, uh, as not agreeing. Those are the two questions which seem to be relevant for, for the discussion and moving on. Yeah. Say that the first question is fully dependent on you defining what com full compatibility means. Because I think, as you pointed 10 minutes ago, there is a lack of what full compatibility means. And mm. I do not want to commit. But, but we, we can speak on that one, Bogdan. We, I mean, we can answer that right now. Since the first day of the project, since Open Telemetry was founded, being able to import Prometheus metrics to pull those in from Prometheus clients and also export any metrics captured to a Prometheus server, those have always been explicit requirements for metrics in OpenTelemetry. Like we would not ship without doing that. Okay, that's a clear answer. Uh, to, to address the one point of Bogdan, um, it's not the case that it doesn't exist because uh, A, we have the reference implementation which is being vendored by several other projects and we have even competing uh, companies who do not interact with, with the Prometheus community at all, just implement Prometheus and implement open metrics just from what they found on GitHub and in the spec. So it, it's there, but I do agree that it that making more visible and giving specific pointers at here, look at this and that thing, that's absolutely the, uh, the case. Um, the widest sense of what it means to be Prometheus compatible is basically um, if you ingest, and I query you through PromQL or something compatible that I get the same data out. And similarly, if I send data in, uh, sorry, if you ingest, the one is if you ingest data, it should come out the same. And the other is uh, if you emit data, uh, both your implementation and Prometheus should ingest the same thing. So those are the two definitions in the, in the functional sense, which is obviously not the, to, to the comma version of, of a spec. But on the functional level, that is the intention of, uh, of Prometheus compatibility. And I think we have maintained that for like. 
before we talked at, at Google on like that has always been the the, the case. No, um, but, okay, so but there are other questions, Richie, that I don't know if there will be like is is app metric in scope of when you talk about full compatibility with Prometheus. There are a bunch of other other things oh, that, that are not fully defined. And that's what I mean if somebody if I claim that is fully supporting Prometheus, somebody may come to us and say, hey, by the way, you don't set this stale bit or whatever things, some internal things Prometheus have, and we do not respect. So at the protocol level, I do understand, but there are some other scenarios and other uh, things that we may not fully support. And that's why, that's why I, I think in order for us to make a stamp and say we are fully 100% compatible with Prometheus, it's probably hard to have, but limiting this scope at we accept Prometheus data and emit Prometheus data in a specific format and so on, it's it's way more reasonable. But anyway, I don't want to cut your discussion right now, but I, I'm... I, so, sorry, just to close this mentally, and now I explicitly uh, don't wear the SIG observability hat, uh, but the Prometheus and open metrics hat. Um, on the functional level, it's clear because uh, both staleness handling and upmetric are core design principles of how Prometheus functions. And basically all users heavily rely on those properties. And that hasn't changed again since uh, since Google London in 2017. That, that has been consistently be the same reply. I know we keep revisiting this topic, but the reply hasn't changed. Um, to, to be fully compatible with Prometheus, that is part of how Prometheus operates. If you want to have the discussion about just the data format, which is completely fine, then that is different, but that is then not what is currently written here and how I understood Morgan. So I don't care, so to speak, about the actual reply. I just care about it being explicit in here. I see. So, Morgan, is it will include full, or is it just uh, the uh, the data format or the wire format, or what is the intention? I mean, realistically, mid year most likely will be the data formats and everything. But end of year, I would say so. The goal is to support full. Now, when that will happen, okay, then we can just write the stone. That, that that is precisely the thing. Okay. So is this fair? And sorry, I'm pushing a little bit, but we are already three minutes over time. But I presume we'll do this. This, this is good, more. Richie. No, th this is this is good. Okay. So, One, we have a new year. happening which you're feeling some wording right uh, I, I i'm typing uh so, sorry it's it's not showing yeah it's not it's sorry not. I, I i pause my oh, bad. okay yeah. <laughs> it's it's on me <laughs> i was seeing it typing so it looked like it was good to me <laughs> And just for the record, for the ones who aren't following closely, um, there is a proposal by Josh how you can actually make up and such work and staleness work within open telemetry as of today. So I hope this is not on you or anything. And I'm just trying to reflect the intention as. <sighs> Sorry, I brain flushed. Morgan, you said end of this year. 
Yes. And then to, to, to sidetrack you, Richard, but the, the logs line seems to be a little fussy. Or or like if, if I <laughs> read that with fresh eyes, I'm not sure I understand it. So you're saying the uh, logs are let's finish not the other thing first, please. Um, where should we put, or where do you want to put with your open telemetry heads on? Where do you want to put 1.0 and GA? Is this for the data model and wire format, or is it for the full semantics and all the bells and whistles? Bogdan, I look to you for that. Yeah, I, I think it doesn't matter for us where you want to put it. It's... That's not an answer. Like the open telemetry project needs to tell the intention yeah, of the project. Okay. Let's let's put it at the first milestone 1.0 uh, and not yeah let's put it at the first milestone and then have support for that. Okay. So data model and wire format will be 1.0. F. Okay, but then that means you're not compatible. You're explicitly not planning to be compatible with the actual working of Prometheus for 1.0. Correct. So, so, so uh, I, I'm, I, I'm less involved. I'm less involved in the metric stuff. So, so there's data model and wire format. What was the other half, Richie? Uh, basically, the semantics. Uh, sorry, the data model. I need to kill here. Uh, the the semantics of how it works, uh, in particular, stale and handling it up. And again, we have been revisiting this topic for like four years now. Yes. So it is a recurring topic, uh, but. So I, I know it is a point of contention, and I know it's yep. not. What, one last but, clarifying uh, question. Is this the yep. internal semantics, like like the semantics of using the API to generate a custom metric, or is this the semantics of we pull in a latency metric that we automatically capture, and generally in Prometheus, you'd expect to have certain annotations on it, and you'd expect that to happen for an open telemetry as well? So the super high level functional definition of compatibility, uh, other than just take the reference code and re-implement it line yep. by line, which is obviously yep. not very good. On the functional level, if you ingest data into system X and you query it again, or take it out through remote read write or what have you, or if you expose data um, both ways, doesn't matter, uh, it should function like Prometheus does which has certain properties in particular around uh, up and staleness handling of course they are used in a lot of subtle uh, ways. There's Got also it. stuff okay. for out of band uh, and such. The problem is if you just use the wire format and the data model of open metrics, you will not be semantically compatible with Prometheus, which in my book with my, uh, yeah. with my chair hat on is totally fine. Yeah. I, just feel we need to be super explicit about it. Of course, we keep returning to those kinds of topics. I think we should call it out as a goal. I, I don't know if any of us on the call can give the, the firm answer to that just because of where we are with metrics and because there's only, I think, three or four of us. Um, I, I, I would expect, though, that we would target that. Bogdan, I don't know if I'm speaking out of turn, but. Oh, let's, uh, let's leave this as an action item for me to, to, to come back with an answer. And, uh, okay. give you Full answer. Great. I think these are the good estimates of the timeline, but let me give uh, get back of when we call one zero uh, versus GA stuff. Perfect. Sorry for for not being able to give you an answer right now. That's also totally fine. I mean, we're over time. I uh, I have a hard cut. <sighs> Sorry. Like I will, we'll come back with which of those two will be. Okay, is that statement fair, Bogdan? Perfect. Um, Mich Michael, do you want to comment on what you were unhappy with? Um, or you can just continue, but mm. I need to jump to the next. Yeah, no, that, that's fine. Um, as, as, if if everyone is fine with, with the logs, uh, to me, it was a little bit uh, you know, un unclear. But if I'm the only one, I can live with that. I, I think we we can also Michael come up with uh, with a more text if you want more details about what we plan to do this year versus what. Just write it in. Sorry, yeah. I really need to drop. Uh, but feel free, just write it in. Like everything below break, go wild. Uh, sorry for taking so long. I thought we I thought we could actually close yes. next time. We'll... 
Thank See you. Have a good conversations. Thanks, folks. Thank See you. you. In two weeks. See you. Bye. Bye now.